So we're yeah. on the set for Trip to Bountiful. I'm Reba Hervis. I'm the artistic director at Overshadowed Theatrical Productions, and I play Carrie Watts in this production. I'm Mike Dilley, and I play Ludie Watts. My name's Jessica Means, and I play Jessie Mae Watts. How do you get to know your characters, right? You get to know them from what's written about them in the dialogue or the stage directions. Just kind of wanted you to talk a little bit today about what it's like to recreate characters. This play, I feel like I'm always discovering. And um, the second your character made one small change, mm -hmm. it impacted me. And then when your character made a small change, especially at the end, it, it completely changed how I act in an entire scene. I like actually Jesse made this round better because I didn't like that I just felt like I was badgering you for no reason. But it didn't make sense mm -hmm. <laughs> to me, like why I would be so mean. It didn't feel real. Now this time, there's moments that we glare at each other and that helps it feel real. Like I'm a real person instead of just this Mm -hmm. like evil antagonist. That's huge. It changes. It's one of those things you were talking about, about just being a little change, but it changing everything. As you started to make smaller changes, was that something that excited you? How was that process of rediscovering who we are? I felt like I needed to dig deeper. I did get some really good coaching. We went over that monologue, because this is like the glimpse into Ludi's heart. It made more sense this mm -hmm. time. Instead of him being more of a distracted man, I saw that he was more evasive. I looked through the other scenes for those, and I went, oh, here, he's being evasive, you know? Not so much distracted, evasive. He really doesn't want to talk about this. There's a conversation I have with you. I try to change the subject at least twice. Mm -hmm. And, and you ignore me with a book. And I'm and I'm trying to and I use the book as a as a <laughs> as a crutch. I don't know if you guys felt like your inner monologue changed more or whether it was conversations that you had with each other. Two things that I learned. <laughs> Number one, as I'm looking at the lines, I realize that I might have learned one of them wrong here and there. And so trying to get them word perfect threw my rhythm off. Mm -hmm. And that was very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. Number two, adding a different character to it and different inner motivation, different reactions because we changed our characters threw my rhythm off. Mm -hmm. And so it really was for me almost like I had to start all over again with my memory. Not 100% but more than I thought. I know as a director that if you're not listening to the other character, you cannot really react, mm -hmm. right? We had such a short period the first time and I didn't know my lines good enough and so I kept thinking ahead, like, mm -hmm. okay, what's the next line? Yeah. So I'm not really listening to what my cue is, I just know when you stop talking that it's time for me to talk, right? <laughs> this time that has been so great to just have time. And because of that, I say my lines differently because I, you know, when you're studying and you read the line, you read it one way, but when you hear it and hear the emphasis that you put on it, then all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, I'm responding different to that because that was yeah. sassy. Well, I would like to thank you guys for coming and joining me. I just love being on the stage with both of you. But to you guys, this is just me saying goodbye to you guys from the wings.